Okay, I'm going to give you my product review on a electric fence I bought on eBay or an Innotech one I bought at Menards. Um, so far, I started off with buying the eBay one. It looks like this. Um, I didn't see any product reviews on it, so um, I kind of winged it and seen how it worked. And I wasn't happy with it, so I'm going to give you my review on why I didn't like it so that you don't make this future mistake. Um, I bought this one a week later, I had to buy this one. Um, to start with, let's we'll start with the indicators. These are the things that um, tells you if you're getting electrocuted in the yard or when you get close to the boundary so that you can mark off the flags. The Innotech one looks like this. It's nice and thick and it has a little spot to put your thumb in um, so you feel safe and uh, comfortable when you're putting the fence in. The one from uh, eBay was extremely cheap. I even broke it in the first couple seconds I was using it just trying to figure it out. Um, good thing I bought the dual collar from eBay because it came with two of them. Um, but we'll get to that. So uh, starting out with that, um, we'll start with the wire. The wire from eBay is extremely thin. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's just extremely thin. It would be something I would use maybe to put speaker wire together, but not an electric fence. This is the one that I got in with Innotech. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but they're extremely different. <laughs> unbelievable when I'm putting the eBay one in um, it continually broke very thin and chintzy um, I, I wasn't happy with it I mean you can see the huge difference between rolls and everything I mean huge difference um, as far as the flags go um, when I opened the box I was like wow this is extremely cheap just by the flag itself I mean the Innotech one was Metal, it came with um, a plastic material, where the one on eBay was uh, a straw, literally a straw, with this like plastic material, like fabric, but you can see right through it. This one's more like a tablecloth material. And the first week I had it, the storm even like took it apart. I mean, these I was hunting in my neighbor's yard trying to find these things. Not only that, but the height difference, it's hugely different so when I put them in the ground after making a hole to put them in the ground where I could just I stuck these ones in no problem I had to actually dig a hole for these because these are a strong man hole you know um, I couldn't even see them once they were in the ground as far as the collars itself I got a dual collar from eBay because I'm planning on getting another dog um, one of the colors didn't even work, didn't even turn on, nothing. I tried batteries, bought, went and bought a battery. Extremely hard to find the batteries, not a normal battery. Um, didn't even work, tried to get a hold of the eBay seller. Um, they wanted me to send it back, just the collar. Um, I couldn't even get the whole fence to work, let alone the collar. It, the product was a complete ripoff. Um, so the comparisons in the collar, though, the Innotech one is extremely a lot more heavier. I wouldn't say extremely heavy, but a lot more heavier. Um, I don't really like that because it's hanging off my dog's neck, and I don't like that. But one thing that it did come with, it came with a special tool to take these things off. Um, and anybody that owns a white dog knows that you can't put a black collar on it because it'll stain the dog black. So I'm, my dog is all white, so I have to buy a different collar. So I'm going to need to replace that. But overall, this this product... Um, I wasn't happy with, um, and it's not returnable, so I wasted, I think it was $50, um, and then a week later I went to Menards and got this one for 70 a lot, <laughs> like a huge difference overall. I would highly recommend not going with eBay one, and probably going with an Innotech one. Um, yeah, that's it.